Hi, today I use a member of the Arduino family to control the ESP32 with the AT command firmware. And I want to send some messages through the ESP32 to the internet and get the response back. First of all, I show you my setup. I use three USB to UART converter. The first one on TTY USB 0 is the one for flashing and debugging the ESP32. The second one on TTY USB 1 I use to debug the AT commands, send it from the Arduino to the ESP32 and also to get the response back from the Wi-Fi connection or whatever the AT command is for. And the third one is for flashing the Arduino. It's embedded in the Arduino Nano I use and it's connected via a USB cable from the Arduino Nano. And here a simple trick to achieve the right numbers in your USB connecting devices. I just put the UART converters in the right order. So first I connect the ESP32 debug and flash UART converter, then the one to debug the AT commands and third I plug in the Arduino Nano USB cable first the Arduino side and then also the side to my Ubuntu PC. So we can have a close up just this is for the AT commands the transmitting and receiving line and also the connected UART converter and you also see the first UART converter for flashing and debugging the ESP32. So before we begin with the Arduino demonstration I prepare the debug output for the ESP32. So first of all I start with the first window I start by typing make monitor on the first window and it's just the output from the ESP32 so I press reset and we see that our AT command line firmware start up and we get a Wi-Fi connection. So second window I start the AT command output also typing make monitor and this time I press also Control T and P for port and I switch to my second USB to UART converter. So I type in 3 for so first of all we have to set the baud rate I use and also again I start by pressing Ctrl T and B and I use a reduced baud rate from 74880. So the reduced baud rate is necessary for using the Arduino Nano because my Nano is not capable to using a higher baud rate on the software UART I use. So. A compromise I have to make but you can maybe use a higher baud rate if your Arduino is capable of. So I type in a starting command to set the reduced baud rate permanently to the ESP32 firmware and we just type AT plus UART underscore def equals and then the baud rate and the number of bits we used and count number of stop bits and if you use some parity or hardware control. So this is the command I use and I don't use any hardware control and so on. So let's look at the Arduino part. So let's start the Arduino IDE and I show you the small sketch I've written. So let's start by the setup. First of all, we use the serial command over the connected USB cable to connect to the Arduino from our IDE to the Arduino. And I use this baud rate from 115 to 100. But unfortunately, I figured out that the highest baud rate I can use over the soft serial is 74880 bouts. So I've tried different libraries, the ALT soft serial library and also the software serial, but they all mess up with 115 200 baud rate on my Arduino Nano. So 
this is our setup. We just set the hardware serial and the software serial. This is for debugging the Arduino and this is for output and receive the AT commands. And then I have just prepared some commands we can use so we don't have to type in the whole AT commands over the serial monitor for the Arduino. Maybe if we type in G, we can connect to the Google server. And if we type in MO, we connect to the Mosquito. Or if we type ESP32, we go to the ESP32 forum with an SSL connection. And the same for example.com. And also we can use the maybe the Google APIs and receive some JSON output back. So before we upload our sketch to our Arduino Nano, let's check our settings from IDE. I set my board to Arduino Nano and set my processor. I use the 8 Mega 328 and I use the port TTY USB 2 as you see in this configuration. So let's upload our sketch maybe. And now our Arduino Nano is flashed and we can open the serial monitor. So and we can also display our AT command window and also the output window for the debugging of the firmware. So let's start by typing one command. Maybe we type AT and send this to the Arduino Nano. Then the Arduino Nano takes the command and send it to the AT command firmware to the ESP32. And we can see what's going on on the Arduino. So I type AT from the serial and get back the response from the ESP32. And we can also see on the output window that it's all the same. Also, we can use maybe AT plus GRM or AT plus GMR. And we get the version information from our firmware. That's nice. So next thing I show you the prepared commands. I use G for connecting to the Google server so we can see what's going on. And our command is send it via the commands and we get the whole website back to our Arduino. And as we see, sometimes the Arduino is not capable to read all the information through the software serial. So it's not so reliable. Next thing we can type in X for example.com via TLS or SSL connection. And we are connected, sending our HTTP request and get the HTTP response back. So, and the next sample maybe is some kind of subscribe account. And I type in this command. So let's see what's going on. We're sending our request and get a JSON object back. And the JSON object is parsed and output line is produced on the Arduino serial monitor. So this is just the account from Dave Jones eWeblog YouTube channel. And you can look in the code how this is achieved. So that's all for today. As always, you find some additional infos in the description down below the video. So I hope you learn something and enjoy the video and have a nice day. Bye bye.